My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In the previous video, we talked about how we can integrate MySQL with a Spring Boot REST API application. Uh, in this video, we'll actually talk about uh, the second part of the, video, of the uh, MySQL extension, which is uh, the changes which we need to do from the Spring Boot side so that we can connect uh, the MySQL database server which we have with our uh, Spring Boot application. So, we won't be uh, writing any code for this. Uh, the code will stay the same as it was for Apache Derby. And the only thing that changes is uh, some uh, application properties which are used to connect uh, the Spring Boot application with database and uh, a few uh, dependencies, or uh, one dependency that actually uh, helps connect uh, MySQL to our to-do object, which is the object relational mapping functionality. So let's get started. The first thing which we need to do is add the dependency uh, which we have. So uh, let's just type it out. And the dependency is going to be having a group ID, of course. So group ID. And the group ID is going to be my SQL because that's the database. And then we have artifact ID. And the artifact ID is my SQL dash connector dash show. Yeah. And just to give it a scope, just do scope runtime. Okay, so this is the dependency which we need to uh, make sure that uh, MySQL knows uh, which class to use uh, to create an object relational mapping from. So this is how you connect MySQL to Java. Okay, so now that we have it, uh, we just need to do a tiny change inside our to do entity class. We just have to uh, tell this class that it is uh, linked to a table in the SQL database and the name of the table is to do right so let's just check the name of the table it is to do db and to do yeah so once we do this uh, we see that you know we add the persons table import and this tells uh, mysql which class to look at so it'll scan all the annotations it'll scan table the table annotation uh, which is linked to the to do table inside MySQL. So this to do entity is going to be mapped to the uh, table. So yeah, just a quick change or the only change in the code. Okay, so now that we have our dependencies and we have made that single change, uh, let's actually go and okay, let me just delete this and we'll just create it again. So uh, we need uh, to have a few properties inside our Spring Boot application and these properties actually uh, decide uh, how we uh, access and what kind of databases that we access. So this is called as, uh, as you have already seen, application.properties. So let's create that right now, so application.properties and make sure the spelling is right, click finish. So this, uh, uh, here you can uh, override all the default settings by a spring and you can have your own custom uh, databases, custom build procedures, uh, all of that. So let's uh, write this to connect to our um, MySQL server. So since we have the to do DB uh, database or schema, so let's connect to that first. So we have spring dot data source dot URL equal to, let me just copy the address to the server and uh, it's to do db, great. So uh, the first thing is basically the syntax, right? Uh, whether the syntax is actually correct or not. So I'll have a link in the description where you can see the official syntax for this. Uh, you know what is happening and why. So let's just see this for now. Yeah, no error. And next, uh, we need is the username and password. So oh, let's just remove this and this. So we need the password and we need the username. So the username is root, and as we change, as I change my password to password. That is what I'll be writing, but obviously there are better ways to write this uh, point. 
the next thing which we need to do is tell hype uh, which implementation to use so uh, since we are using my uh, mysql database and we're using the gpa repository but we're using only an interface uh, we need to select which implementation implementation do we want so there are a lot of implementations for this uh, but the most commonly used is hibernate so we'll be using that so we just add that piece of property here so we'll be using the hibernate uh, mysql phi in odb dialect and uh, at a single time the max number of clients that we can have is 10 so that you know uh, we don't max out on these when you're you know testing it uh, rigorously so now that we have uh, the property set so here we connect to the true db mysql database this is how we connect uh, the external database with our spring boot application and once all this is set uh, all you have to do is just run the server again so let's go and run the service the java application uh, yep let's wait for this to run So this is uh, establishing the connection and so I think we got some errors. Let's see them first, what the errors are. Could not create a connection. Okay, let's see what caused that issue. So right here, let's go up. Uh, true DB is right. Yep. And hibernate max full size 10. Now oh, this is looking good as well. Uh, let's see what the error was. So if you go to Spring Tool Suit and see the error, could not create the connection because that cut uh, I got to know what the problem is so uh, in our pom.xml uh, here we need to add the version as well so it's a version issue here so let's add the version which is 8.0.11 and just uh, let go of the errors for now so if these errors pop up uh, here all you have to do is ignore the warning for now and let's run the application again so let me just check the version again yeah let me just check the version again So I think yeah, 8.0.11 should work. And let's run as application. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So the database is set up and the URL are also mapped and we have the server ready. So I have already added nothing here. So let me just add some things. Go to post, uh, let's add two first, uh, just for the heck of it. Okay, so now that two is added, let's do a get and Let's send. And as you can see, we get two back. So uh, this is how, without updating any single piece of code, we're able to actually integrate uh, SQL, MySQL with our REST API application. So that was it for this video. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how you can actually use PostgreSQL uh, Post as well. So that you know, you can know how 
easy it is to work with multiple databases using Spring Boot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.